Today's talk is called, The Key to Getting Anything Done is Not Telling Everyone That You're Doing It. I would like to welcome my Periscope audience. I have a lot of new people that I'm meeting here on Periscope, and I'm hoping and looking for a new way for us to connect. So if you would like to be on my mailing list, if you would like to know what I'm doing, when I'm doing it, and where I'm going to be doing it, please send me an email to crystal at crystalwrightlive.com. That's C-R-Y-S-T-A-L-W-R-I-G-H-T-L-I-V-E dot com. And in the subject line, put Periscope. I'll add you to my mailing list. And so you can have advance notice when I'm going to do one of these talks. Again, thank you, thank you, thank you for, call, for um, showing up today. So remember that you can invite followers and friends by swiping <laughs> down if you're on Android and to the right, I believe it is, if you're on an Apple iPhone. Um, Oh, somebody said, I agree with this topic. I thought differently of it before. Well, so here's the deal. I'll start over. And what I was saying is that a lot of times we share things with people because we're very, very excited about it. We want people to know what we're doing. And we go to our closest friends. And sometimes we go to people that aren't so close to us and we tell them what we're doing. And then we're, then we're really, really surprised when whatever we talked about Someone else that we told seems to be doing it instead of us doing it. And that's because not everybody that we believe is a friend is really a true friend. Sometimes people hurt us not because they really want to. Sometimes they hurt you because they're afraid that you're going to leave them as a friend. They're afraid that you're going to move away. It can be a husband, it can be a family member, it can be a friend. People don't want to be by themselves and they're clinging on to you, holding on to you because your energy works for them. Your energy helps them. And so they don't want you to leave. They don't want you to move on and they don't want you to grow. I wrote some notes and I wrote down the oppressor, even though it could be a family member, it could be a spouse, it could be a significant other. The oppressor can be jealous. The oppressor can be envious. The oppressor can be spiteful. But more often than not, the oppressor is simply fearful. Fearful of you walking out of their lives. Um, so the, the, what I was doing this morning, and I told everybody, you know, I try to sit in my chair and I, and I read my Bible um, I am a believer. I don't try to shove what I believe down anybody's throat, but it works for me. And I am a lover of all people. So come one, come all. I, I happen to realize that I believe what I believe because it was the way that I was raised. And the truth is, whether you like it or not, if you've been born in China, you might be a Buddhist. If you have been born in the Middle East, you might be a Muslim, so let's just get that right. Most of us believe what we believe because we were taught that and not because we've studied. I do, however, try to study and I read and I believe that, you know, there are valid things in, in so many different religions. But anyway, what I was reading this morning and what made me want to talk about it, even though I'd written the note a few days ago, was that I was reading Second Kings Chapter 20, verse 13, and this is what it says. Hezekiah received messengers and showed them that he, what he had in his kingdom. He received messengers, people coming from Babylon. So later on, he was talking to uh, Isaiah, and Isaiah said, the time will come when everything in your palace will be carried off to Babylon and your children made eunuchs in the palace of the king of Babylon. What I'm trying to tell you is stop telling everybody what you're doing. Stop sharing your plans with everyone because someone could inadvertently share something that you were working on or you've been working on and the next thing you know, someone else is doing it. It's a very simple message. Keep things to yourself. Don't tell everybody everything. Uh, some things should remain secrets until they come out. Nobody who's developing a patent goes around telling everybody about it. 
okay? And it doesn't mean that you have to get everyone out of your life, but it does mean, here, let me, I don't like the angle of this thing, but it does mean, isn't that better? It does mean that you got to hold some things a little closer to the vest than maybe you've been normally doing it. And that's a very simple message, really short message. Um, let's see. And so does anyone have any questions? That's it. Not long today. Some do not share because of their own fear. Have confidence in your success. Operate fearlessly. Exactly. We were not given a spirit of timidity, but a spirit of openness. That still doesn't mean you tell everybody everything. <laughs> uh, you definitely can share your vision with everybody. You can't share your vision with everyone right away. Absolutely. I fear nothing and no one I may share because I will succeed. Guard some things. Yes. You are giving us the tea today. Back by word. I'm doing my best. <laughs> okay, everyone. Have an awesome, awesome day. Let me share with you. I had Stewie print this out for me today. So everyone knows how to reach me. Here it is. How about this? Let me see if you can see that. Can everyone see that? That's all of my contact information. So now you don't have to rush to write it down. By the way, I also um, got it. By the way, I put all of my periscopes on YouTube. So if you missed it, you can go back and see it. If you saw something, you want to take some notes, you can do that. In a couple of days, I'm going to do a talk about social media going to do a little talk about social media. So I will remember what I said, send me your uh, information, your email addresses to crystal at crystalwritelive.com in the subject line, right Periscope. That means you want to be on my list. I'll add everyone to the list and I'll let you know when I'm doing a Periscope, what I'm going to be talking about. Let me make sure I got everything here. Did I forget to tell anybody anything? Again? Nope. I think I've done everything right today. Have an awesome day. Have an awesome weekend. I'll have another Periscope for you over the weekend. Maybe I'll do it on Sunday when you guys are home around 8 o'clock in the evening. And I appreciate the love that I'm getting on Periscope. Remember to give me some of those hearts. Bye.